there's always been a bit of me that is cross with John Wesley. Now don't get me wrong, there's so much to admire and appreciate in this cleric, theologian and evangelist, someone who unintentionally is recognised as the founder of Methodism. But ever since I heard of his practice of getting up early each morning to pray, sometimes as early as 4 a.m., and of his long hours in prayer, well, a bit of me has felt somewhat inadequate. Martin Lloyd-Jones said of John Wesley, John Wesley used to say that he thought very little of a man who did not pray for four hours every day. It's not that I don't admire John Wesley's piety and devotion. We all need to be grounded in prayer. There's truth in the suggestion that the busier we are, the more we need to pray. But at times it leaves me feeling that only, if only I was more devout, then my faith would be deeper. Indeed, at times it can come over as though the strength of our faith is as a result of what we do. Faith is a gift given by God. It's part of that giftedness of a gracious God as in Ephesians 2 verse 8. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Faith is that gift of God in our lives that grows as we turn to him. Our colic this week invites us to pray, increase in us your gift of faith. It's a prayer to which we must attend, for in so doing we open ourselves to being receptive to God's gift. Whether we pray for four hours a day or more like John Wesley, or whether we pay, pray for less, the emphasis ultimately is not on what we do but on our readiness to receive. Maybe I shouldn't be so cross with John Wesley, only with those who make his devotion sound as if faith is something that we earn. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 